state your name, what you do, and where do you teach? My name's Sean O'Mara. I'm an instructor at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. I also own a design studio called O Creations, and we're located on the south side of Pittsburgh. Ever since I was little, I've been into art and doodling on my notebooks in school. And then when I went to high school, we had a pretty amazing art teacher. Her name was Miss Sackmar. She used to make her own clothes and create her own jewelry. And she was really inspirational. And she actually talked about a place where you could go to college and it was all graphic design, exactly what I love to do. So as soon as I found out about that, I checked it out and enrolled in the Art Institute. Um, well, I kind of fell into teaching. Um, I was working for a graphic design studio in Bethel Park um, called the Gadotti Marketing Group. And one of the other guys that I worked with, he was a designer, his wife went into labor. So he asked me if I could go in and help out with a class. So that night I went into the Art Institute as a guest speaker and started to teach his class. How long after that did you start actually teaching class? Um, well, once I did that and realized that I, you know, wasn't so bad in front of the classroom and the intimidation factor went went down. I started to teach. They called me and asked me if I'd be interested in doing a, um, actually teaching my own class. I said, sure. I was a little nervous about doing it, but I said, sure, I'll try it. I was only 24 years old at that point, so it was a little nerve wracking. Oh, I definitely remember my first day in front of the class. Uh, because when I was teaching in the program, this was actually a design program which had some older students in it. So when I walked into the classroom looking out at them, I was probably the youngest one in the classroom. Um, really nervous. I probably brought in too much material to deliver. But I do remember the fact that as soon as I started talking about what I did for a living and what I did at work that day, just that kind of simple stuff, just giving them that real life experience, the students warmed up and they couldn't wait to hear more. A typical day, uh, I have such a wide range of classes. I do things like I run the design studio, which is actually an agency that the school puts together so we could provide students with actual experience to work with real clients. I also teach introduction to design applications classes, which is intermediate, the, the introduction to computer programs like Photoshop and Illustrator. And I'll also teach our portfolio classes. So my day ranges from students in the very first level, entry level, to students that are getting ready to walk out and get a job. Uh, well, outside of teaching, it's, it's all graphic design. Um, like I said before, I actually own O Creations, which is a design studio. So outside, we work with actual clients, anywhere from a client like iTeek and try to market and sell eyewear to another client. What we recently got was um, a Sarah's Candies and trying to sell chocolate. So we do everything from the design thumbnails, conceptual work, to building websites. How has teaching enhanced what you do outside of the classroom or vice versa? Oh, I really think they complement each other great. Um, the way teaching has really enhanced the way I, you know, go into the class, or teaching has really enhanced my studio work is because that I'm able to bring that creativity, you know, from the students and all the creative energy that they have, and I'm able to bring it and be energized and come into my studio. And the same way, I'm able to actually bring the creative thoughts from my studio and working with real clients and that real life experience into the classroom. So the balance of both of them coming together has really helped me on both ends. Uh, I'd have to say my teaching philosophy is how I can bring real life into the classroom, bringing those two together. That's what I always try to do. Any advice for students entering the world of art and design? Uh, my best advice for students entering the world of graphic design would be you need to, to be in love with what you do. Um, this is a field that's not about how much money you're going to make. It's not about, um, it's not going to be rewarding every day. But what happens is, I always relate it to a professional athlete. If you can get paid to do what you love to do, why would you not want to do that every day of your life? I like that last one. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah.